What's going on gals and guys, Ryan from Craig Chemistry back with you. Today we're just gonna be doing an unboxing, setup, and review of this bad boy here. Right now I have <laughs> the old school, uh, the original Samsung Smart Things cameras. I have that in my bedroom upstairs, which is basically the whole upstairs floor, and then the downstairs floor. Downstairs, it's a finished basement, but um, you know, I just recently moved about 10 months ago now. I haven't done anything with it. So therefore, that's why those cameras are there because they're not you know, up to today's technology. Uh, don't get me wrong, I am the biggest fan of Samsung there is, but their smart things cameras are just a little outdated, so I need to update them. And a camera I came across that I'm gonna be trying out, today we're just gonna be doing a real quick unboxing. We're gonna set it up and go over the app and just see how it all works. But I came across this bad boy. This is made by Mubview. It's their new PTZ indoor camera. It has 360 degree view angle, which is really nice. That kind of caught my attention. And then it also has the AI detection. It has night vision. Uh, all of the good things that are in today's camera. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this bad boy out, see how it looks, get it set up, so on and so forth. So uh, let's head over to the workbench, get into this bad boy. All right guys, here we are. Pretty simple it looks like. So let's go ahead and get into this real quick so we can get on to the setup. All right, what do we got? Looks like we have, of course, what appears to be our setup guide. We got that, we'll set that off to the side. And the highlight of the show, looks like we got our camera and our plug. Yep, so it's gonna come with a mount so we can put it up on the ceiling. A couple anchors, a couple screws that we'll need. And of course, the camera itself here. Pretty good looking. And of course, right down there at the bottom, if you can see that right there, that's gonna be our micro SD card slot right there. And it looks like also our reset button. You can see that right down there. So that will be about it. We'll get this plug out of its packaging quick. And that'll just suck right in. And now we're ready to go get this bad boy set up. So I'm actually gonna post this downstairs so let's head on downstairs in my house so we can get this bad boy installed in the ceiling and get all set up all right everybody so here we are downstairs at my place there's not much to it uh, if any of you are subscribers you know that i just moved not too long ago so i'm still trying to make something of it but before we do that i want to have the place secure obviously so this is actually the camera that i did have it is a samsung smart things camera um, I will throw up, let me throw up a video of that view angle of the camera right now real quick, show you guys what we have. This is what I had right here. So now, like I said though, we are moving on to the mub view that we bought. Um, just a little FYI, this one, and you just saw the view that I had, um, the night view, the night vision is okay, it works. But certain things with this, it's just outdated. And again, I love Samsung, but it's just it's just time to upgrade. And the price difference, I think these are still like 90 bucks. The Mubview, I think original price still is even only 32 bucks. Anyway, we're replacing this. It was right here, right up here in the corner. So it kind of angled down into the view that you saw. So anyway, that's where we're gonna replace our new camera. We're gonna kind of put it in the same position I'm gonna bring it out just a little bit so I can have more of that 360 degree view angle. So with that being said, I do have everything that we need lined up down here. Uh, just let's go over that real quick, what we're gonna need, and then we'll get down to business. So here we are guys, we got our drill bits. I'm going with 1164th FYI. I did not see anywhere in the instructions that tells you what size bit you should use. Uh, so the anchors fit in there. But I did, I did find out, I did a little practice hole uh, somewhere that nobody will ever look in my house. <laughs> and the 11 64ths is gonna be the drill bit that you are gonna want. Which brings us to our next item with our hammer drill. We'll go ahead and stick that bad boy in there now. So that's ready to go. We need a pencil. That will be to mark our bracket to where we need to put our anchors and our screws. 
which brings us to our pencil, our bracket, our actual camera, our screws and anchors, like I said, our AC adapter that will give us power, a stapler, a hammer, and then a ratchet drill to screw in our screws to secure our camera up on the ceiling. You could probably get away with it if you only have one drill. You know how to you know, interchange your uh, Phillips with your drill bit heads, then go ahead and use one. Speaking of which, we will need a Phillips head for this. One last thing, a memory card. I have the Samsung Evo 32 gig right here. I might up it to 64, even a 128, depending on how this all goes. But for right now, I just had an extra 32 gig micro SD card laying around, so we're gonna go with this. And that would be about it, guys. So let's head over to the ceiling and get started. All right, guys, so here we are in the corner. I'm gonna want my camera about right here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our bracket and our pencil, and we're just gonna draw two tiny circles inside the bracket here, like so. Now we have our drilling holes that we need. So now all we're gonna do is take our hammer drill, And as you can see, I know there's a couple others over here. That was from our other camera. So we're focusing on these two right here. Sorry about that blurring. But we got our two holes drilled now. They are spaced evenly because we did draw out our circles with our pencil in the little bracket. So now guys, all we have to do is grab our hammer and our two anchors. And we're gonna go right up to that, right up to those two holes. And we're just gonna take our anchors Give them a good tap in. Take our other one. And tap that one in. And we are golden there. Got our two anchors sunk in our drywall. All right guys, so we have our camera now. All we have to do is line up the notches right here. As you can see our two little notches with those two little notches. And then we're just gonna twist her in place. And there she is. So there it is guys, we have it in place. I went ahead and with our stapler, I did tack down a staple, just one of them for now. We will get all the wires hidden back behind it after we're 100% set up and everything. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in and then we are going to grab our phone and we are gonna get to the app side of it, get it downloaded, get our camera added, so on and so forth get her up and running. So for now, let's run over to the screen view and I'll show you what to do from here. Okay guys, here we are. We got the camera on one side, the app on the other, so we can kind of walk through this real quick. All I did was I went to Zoom em All, is what I, I think that's how you pronounce it, in the Play Store, you can get it in the Apple Store also. Uh, we went and downloaded that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open that. We'll go ahead and create an account real quick. Agree to the terms and conditions. Make up a little nickname. Make up a password. Okay. So here we are. We are in all devices. We wanna go up to the add button. And we're gonna go down to power plug camera. We're gonna hit that. We're gonna hit smart fire device. So now what we need to do is we need to power it on. All right, so we went ahead and plugged it in. I'm not sure if you can see it, but we have a little red light there. Looks like we're doing a little something. Please reset the device by holding the reset button for five seconds. Wait oh. for the indicator light to flash red. So now, if you pull the camera all the way up, you'll be able to see a little reset button right inside here. We're gonna go ahead and click that reset button. Your password. It's gonna make a little yoo-hoo. Then we are in the app, we're gonna go ahead and enter our password. Make sure you're on 2.4 gigahertz. If, you're, if you have an Eero mesh network router like mine, it'll switch over to 2.4 if needed, like so. Please remove all film from the lens. Tap next to show a QR code and let your device scan the code. Keep your phone five to eight inches from the lens. So now we're gonna hit next. It's gonna show up this, bring up this QR code. It's gonna read it. Connecting. Please wait a moment. You'll hear that yoo sound again. And that means that it read it. We'll go ahead and hit next. And it looks like it's connected just like that. Add successfully. So we're gonna hit next. We're gonna hit next. 
We're gonna hit next. Put camera and phone at the place of camera installation. Press next to enter network diagnostic. All right. All right, so now we're gonna select our room. We're gonna go ahead and rename it right there. Downstairs cam. And it's gonna go through a couple tips. Click to preview the device. We got our quick settings and it looks like we're good. So let's go ahead and hit play. So now it looks like we are good to go. Now what we're gonna do is remember our SD card. We're gonna go ahead and stick it right in the slot there. There we go. Let's run up to our settings. Okay, and now at the bottom down here, it says recording management. We're gonna click that. We're gonna click format to format our SD card that we just inserted. As you can see right here also, while that's going down, my Eero has a new device connected to the network, so we know it's connected to the network. So now it looks like we have the choice of doing event recording or all day recording. So that would just continuously record. You can see that we got our uh, SD card capacity. We got it formatted to 20, it looks like we have 29 gigabytes of free memory. So that's all good. Now you can kind of just run through, let's go ahead and put on motion tracking. All right, there we go. So now, as you see, I'll back it up a little bit. As you see me, it follows me. So we got our motion tracking working there. Now there's just one other thing. How about image settings? There we go. We want to screen flip that. We have our night vision on automatic. And now, there we go. Now you can see from the app on the side, kind of walking around, and we got our motion tracking down. We have our camera flipped. And it seems like it's good to go. So, so there you go, guys. You can mess around with some of the settings in there if you'd like. So there it is, guys. We got it all set up. We got our motion tracking. I went ahead and set it to all day recording to see how that goes. You can switch that to event recording, which would basically, whenever it triggers motion, it will start the recording like most would do. I'm kind of interested how that all day uh, recording is gonna go, how much memory it's gonna take up and how quickly. So I'm just gonna do that for fun for myself, see how that goes, but you can switch that. Like I said, there's a few other settings you can go through. Um, you can just play around with your camera from now on, but we got it all set up. We got everything going, and from first appearance, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with it. Decent little camera. If you go to the Amazon, which I will leave a link in the description, click that link, it'll take you to Amazon. And you, right now, I know that their retail price is only $32.99, so for a decent camera, what seems to be a really good camera. Again, guys, that is the MobView, their new Smart PTZ indoor camera with motion tracking. We got it set up right here, security, is good on the downstairs floor now. I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer anything you guys got as long as I can. Uh, questions, comments, uh, suggestions, leave them down below, please. If you would, of course, like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate that if you could do that. And until next time, guys, as always, I really do appreciate you. Peace.